So more US cities have issued lockdowns. And I want to address what cities these are and why we are experiencing lockdown right now. What's very interesting about this is not only what is going on, because that is first and foremost what I want to share with you, but the second thing and probably the bigger story is how fast this spreads. So I'm going to break all this down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So here's what we need to discuss. Look at this. It says northeastern towns issue voluntary lockdown to prevent spread of mosquito-borne disease. It says eastern equine encephalitis can be deadly, health officials warn, but cases are extremely rare. Now, this was from a couple days ago. However, the concern and the risks aren't changing. Okay, the concern is still the same. But I want to show you something. Okay? This is what I want to show you right here. It says four Massachusetts towns, Douglas, Oxford, Sutton, and Webster have enacted a voluntary evening lockdown in an attempt to curb the spread of a potential deadly mosquito-borne disease. Now, we have one case, okay? It says right here, the Depart Massachusetts Department of Public Health confirmed the first human case of triple E since 2020 in Worcester County. Said on Wednesday, the Oxford Board of Health voted to support the recommendation for people to remain indoors after 6 p.m., effective immediately through September 30th, according to a public health advisory shared by Fox News Digital. Now, it says starting on October 1st, the recommendation is to remain indoors after 5 p.m. until the first hard frost. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means currently, uh, or once we hit September 30th, okay, we are going to see, okay, yep, you will have to be indoors by 6 p.m. They say this is voluntary, okay? Again, I want to show you this, okay? If a recommendation to remain indoors after 6 p.m. effective immediately. This was supposed to be a voluntary lockdown. However, and it does say voluntary lockdown here, but look at this. Massachusetts mosquitoes lockdown, Massachusetts uh, lockdown, Massachusetts towns enforce voluntary curfew to combat deadly triple E outbreak. How do you enforce a voluntary thing? That's what is just perplexing. But this is the reason why I bring this to your attention. When I first mentioned this Thursday morning, this is what I was talking about. I was talking about Oxford. That was it. It was only Oxford, Massachusetts that was uh, enacting a voluntary curfew. Just, let me just give you, paint you a little picture here. Okay, I want to paint this picture so that you understand what's going on. Look at this right here. So this right here is Oxford, Massachusetts. Okay, I'll scroll out so you can kind of see a little bit better. Here we go. So you see where Boston is, right? This is Oxford right here. Now, if we zoom in, okay, there's a, there's four other towns. Oxford is this. That's in the red little dots. Sutton is this over here. Douglas is here. And then you got Webster down here, okay? So initially, it was just this. Now, it's this area here. So probably, what, four to five times the size. That is what they're locking down. Or that is what they are saying is, uh, well a enforced voluntary curfew. But again, how does this say, how is this voluntary is, is my question. And how did this spread so quickly? Because again, uh, just this week we learned you have to remain indoors after 6 p.m. That goes until September 30th. And after, starting on October 1st, you have to remain indoors after 5 p.m. until the first hard frost, because that is when mosquitoes shouldn't be there. Here's what I think is interesting. Now, today I'm not going to talk about Triple E, um, how severe it is, but also how rare it is. What I am going to talk about is the spread of these lockdowns. That is a concern. Yes, the, the Triple E um, virus, that is concerning. Of course it is. When somebody has contracted the virus, 
Again, it's, it's very deadly. But another concern is the lockdowns and how quickly, just in the matter of days. Again, this was two days ago. This article came out from Fox News two days ago on August 23rd. Okay. On so uh, two days ago was Friday. So uh, a day before that, there was only one uh, northeastern town that was locked down that had this uh, enforced voluntary curfew. Just one. Two days later, we're up to four. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow morning we turn on the news and now it's the entire uh, city or the entire you know uh, state of Massachusetts. We don't know. I don't think it will be, but again, we don't know. This is why it's concerning. This is why a lot of people are skeptical about what's going on. We're, we're coming up to a, a presidential election, very important election, very important. And now we're hearing all this, these discussions about a, a lockdown here in the U.S. We're seeing uh, ships leaving, uh, I think, uh, Argentina going to Brazil that were uh, had to be quarantined because of potential MPOX. Yeah, there are airports that are doing mandatory screenings. If you want, you're coming from a specific country, it's mandatory screenings to get into their country or else you'll be sent back, lockdowns. That's what we're seeing. And again, the reason I bring it to your attention is because this will spread. Not the, not necessarily the, the virus is going to spread. The, the virus could, but the lockdowns, the fear, okay, the uncertainty that's going to spread. And we can't always trust on what the CDC is saying because last time we were told to trust the CDC, they came out months later and told us that, yeah, we were just trying it. We were hoping it was gonna work. Well, we, we're past hopes and dreams. We want action. That's what we want. Now, if a lockdown does curb the spread of a virus, great. I'm pretty sure the American people would go for it. But when there's no proof yet, it's not going to happen. This is why there's a, a new thing that's going around. You've probably seen it on social media. And it's hashtag do not comply. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you what you can do, what you can't do, or what you should or shouldn't think. That's all on you. But here's what I am going to tell you. This stuff that we're seeing, these potential lockdowns, right, restrictions, curfews, it's just a matter of time before all this stuff comes back. Experts say that 2025, okay, so again, we're close, but in 2025, we are going to see the next pandemic. Again, I don't know if this actually happens. Let's hope it doesn't. But at the same time, if it does, we at least have to be prepared for it. And this is a concern. Many people don't want to go get a vaccine because they can't trust the CDC or some doctors. And I understand that. Many people are hesitant to stay quarantined just because your doctor says, yeah, you probably have it. Well, they're like, oh, well, do I really? So right now there's a lot of questions, a lot of misinformation. And it's because of that, most people are skeptical here in 2024. So we'll see what happens moving forward. The only thing I can tell you right now is be prepared because these stories, these lockdowns, these curfews, well, they're probably gonna happen more and more. So as they do, and as we get more information, I promise I'll bring all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.